Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Cruises. So today in this video, we are going to see how to do a TD uh, DFT calculation in Gaussian. So what is the uh, you know need for this TD DFT? So generally we use DFT for you know optimizing your molecule for homolomo and certain properties. So that is the static uh, you know static DFT method that we use using normal uh, you know coordinate equation to solve the problem. But when you want to study the excited state for like uh, UV absorption spectra or the excited state calculations, you need to perform the time dependent density functional theory. So in that case, you have to include the uh, time dependency in your, you know, Schrodinger equation. That is known as time dependent Schrodinger equation that you need to use for this specific calculation. So that is in the theory way, but uh, here we'll be using TDDFT for, you know, uh, UV absorption and the excited state calculation. So here I will demonstrate how to use this TDDFT, uh, you know, calculation, what is the keywords and how to do, perform the calculation uh, using this TDDFT method and how we'll get the outputs and how to, you know, see, uh, visualize those outputs, okay. So I'll show you the input, how I have prepared the input for my, you know, TDDFT calculation here. So here I have given optimization frequency calculation so here i'll be using tddft okay so in tddft you can select singlet doublet triplet whatever way you want to perform your calculation so you can select it from here okay so you have to put so i have i have given singlet here the molecule i have taken here is anthroquinone okay and singlet calculation and i have given here the n states okay so what are these n states here so when you are selecting, you know, uh, the n of our calculation, so it will see the, so these n states, if you go to the Gaussian manual, you see, so by default, it is given as three states. So these are the excited states, like uh, how many excited state it will take in the calculation. So by default, it is three, okay, and now you can increase and decrease based on your choices, okay. So this is the, and this is the functional, and this is the this is set that I have used. So this is the keyword I have used here for the TDDFT calculation for my molecule. Okay, and this is the you know geometry, input geometry that I have taken here. Once you have this input, then you can submit the calculation using your Gaussian. So whatever way you want to use cluster. So in case of cluster, your input file will be having dot com and if and um, you want to perform using Gaussian in your desktop or your laptop, you can drag this .com file to your Gaussian and that will come here, you can see here. Just need to modify this memory and the processes if you want to modify and the put based on your system requirement here, you can put it here, okay? Or you can remove it also, it depends on your system and your choices. So this is the input, you can simply run the calculation, okay? So once the calculation is over, it will take quite some time because you are using TDDFT, it may take more time based on your molecule basis set and the functional. Once you click on the run, it will start the calculation. Once uh, the calculation is over, you will get these three files, checkpoint file, input file that you have given and the uh, log file, that is the output file of your version. So you will click on the output or the log file in the cluster case you'll be getting log file or if you're using your desktop you will be getting dot ouv file right so this is my optimized geometry now right click go to the results and go to the visible uh, first we'll go to the summary in the summary you can see everything here okay now you can see the imaginary you can see over here everything is converged so that one imaginary frequency, I will check the frequency of that imaginary frequency. Oh, what's the values? 749. Okay. And if you see, so that corresponding to this carbonyls and this CH carbonyl CO stretching and this one is. So since we are doing performing the excited state calculation, so you will have these negative frequencies, no problem. Okay. So once you have this output structure, go to the results. Go to the uh, UV visible spectrum and you can see your UV uh, absorption spectrum over here. Okay. Okay. 
So this is your UV absorption spectrum for this molecule. Now if you want to make it beautiful go to the properties and from here whatever thing you want suppose you want to thicken the you know this line you can make it more thicker increase it the width you want to change the color that also you can do okay now you can see there are the singlet au okay these are the transitions okay singlet au uh, this is there are also some um, symmetry will be there this is singlet b3g singlet au and the singlet b1g these are the transitions okay like pi to pi star transition sigma to pi star transition okay sigma to sigma star transition so those things like will come in your uh, absorption spectra right so these are the those transitions and this is the spectrum that you will get it from here in using uv uh, spectra and if you want to remove this you know central line that will correspond to the lambda max this value will correspond to your lambda max so in the here you are having the epsilon that is the absorption absorption coefficient and here these are the oscillator strength okay so if you want to remove these lines and all you can remove it from here that's like whatever thing you want you can change it from here right so this is the way to do the TDD of the calculation and see the UV absorption spectra in your uh, Gauss in using Gauss view you can use other tools also whatever is available to you I'm having Gauss view so I'm using it okay so if you have any doubt pertaining to this calculation you can put in the comment section and so one more thing I want to mention here see this is just the basic I have shown here how to perform a TDD of the calculation okay so for various calculation you can perform the TDDFT calculation right like suppose you want to study the exciter state reactions or uh, uh, Frank codon principle kind of stuff or something in exciter state you have to use this method okay so in that case basic principle or basic you know way will be similar certain keywords will change and your analysis thing will be changed that's all so if you have any doubt pertaining to this video put in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching the video.